when the threshold for mistakes is low and the cost is so high, the only intercessor, the only arbiter that can start to balance the scales is the public defender. So in 1963, the Supreme Court said in Gideon versus Wainwright that lawyers are the vehicle necessary to ensure justice and that we can't have equal justice if poor people don't have the kinds of lawyers that you and I would pay for. All across this country, courts are processing human beings into prison cells and lawyers for poor people are not given the resources and training and support that they need to do the job that Gideon demanded. Our system isn't just. 2.2 million people are incarcerated more than any other country in the world. 80% of the people in the criminal justice system are poor. And the system is filled disproportionately with people of color. If we are ever going to realize equal justice, we are going to need to develop a community, a generation of public defenders who have the support they need to live up to the Supreme Court's mandate. I've wanted to do this work since I was about 14 years old and just being embraced by a community like this that wants to make me into the best kind of public defender I can be has been amazing. And it's been amazing to be pushed out of my comfort zone. It's been amazing to learn from all of you for the past two weeks, to be in sessions with you guys and just take little pieces from everybody that I want to try out when I go back to my office. Every moment in this program is meticulously considered and it shows. It's creating camaraderie and fellowship that'll last in these moments, but it'll last beyond these moments. It'll last an entire lifetime. Droplet by droplet, a river is formed. It is the moment when people believe that it's not worth fighting to be heard, that we have lost the thread of what democracy should be. And so I think for the work that Gideon's Promise does, the work of public defenders, it is democracy work at its most basic because democracy isn't about casting a ballot. It is about having a right to be heard and to set the path of your, your future, to set the reality of the promise.